Hey good people, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Let's play Oh Christmas Tree and add a little fiddle flavor to it. So now that you've heard it, let's learn how to do it. So in this lesson, I'm gonna do a very basic version for all the beginners out there. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about how you can add droning double stops, and then how you can add an even harder step of chordal double stops and some other fiddle type things. Before even starting to play it though, if you know the song and actually like it, it's worth just taking a moment to sing it. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. So singing is a very powerful way to internalize music. And as a fiddler, it's even more important to sing, I think, because it will help you play better in tune. Eventually you want your instrument to be an extension of your voice. So we will use singing to learn the tune, but let's just now dive into the A part of the tune, the first quarter. Here is the first half of the A part to a Christmas tree. So before even trying to do the fingering, let's just sing. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. Okay. Get it in your head a little bit. Now I'll talk you through the fingerings we have. Starting with the pickup note on open D, that's O, we're gonna go open to three. And then a similar rhythm, we're gonna go start with open A, one, one, one. Not too hard so far. This tune is a waltz. One, two, three, one, two. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. All right, and now let's do a, a crucial step. Let's try to sing it once, then play it once. So, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. It almost sounds like Here Comes the Bride. Eh, not too much. Um, anyway, so okay, now that you have that part, try to do that little bit on your own with this play along track. One, two, three. So now let's do the second half of the A part, which goes like this. All right, and it starts A one open one low two D two A three. This is actually if you're learning low two, if you're at that point in your fiddle journey, this might be a hard passage because you got to go low two and then regular two. So you may want to focus your microscope of practice there. Low two on A, D two. Low two on A, D two. Make little exercises with that. Right? So now we have the whole part. Let's try to play the whole line. Now sing it once. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. And then you could go back and forth between singing and playing. 
All right, good job, good job. Excellent. Now let's do the B part to the song. All right, so we're gonna start with A3 and a pickup. Three, three, one, open E. Why don't you try that again? And then the next half is gonna roughly be the same rhythm, but we're gonna start A low two. In fact, it's not just the same rhythm, it's pretty much the same melodic shape and phrase, just shifted down. So we have the first half, and then the second half starts A low two. All right, I'm just gonna slowly play the whole B part. Let me count, you, count it in. One and two and three. And then we go back to the A part. And the form of the tune is A, A, B, A. All right, so there you go. There's a basic version. So, so far you've learned the, the tune. You've learned that you can sing alternating singing and playing for little phrases for like the whole A part and for the whole B part as well. The more you sing, alternate between singing and playing, the better musician you'll be. So now I want to show you more advanced players a few little things you can do with it. If you're a beginner, I recommend holding off, not because I want to torture you with things you you shouldn't do or something and be like an authority figure. I just want, don't want you to be too frustrated with yourself. I want you to like find the perfect level of challenge for you. So, but if you have started to do double stops and you've done something which I call the double stop scale, so here it is on G. I'll do, give you a down and dirty lesson on the double stop scale. It's like G major, but when you're playing on the G string, you drone D. When you're playing on the D string, you drone G. And then you pretty much use that as a guide for doing the, the tune. So when I'm playing on the A string, I'll drone open D. B part it doesn't work as well with droning double stops I'll say we'll get to it with chordal double stops in a minute so you could just do the B part singles and then return to doubles for the A part at the end all right and then now for even a more advanced thing we can do chordal double stops. I'll just teach a little bit of it, but on the site I have extensive sheet music for what I'm doing in this version. So basically, we, we can start the open G and D. And then when we play D3, we'll, we'll place our G2. And then when I play the A, I'm drawing open D. So, so far we have. And then A1, I'll draw an open D. All right, so that's the gist of that, of the A part. And when I play the C, which is A low two, I'll play D1 with that. Let me do that slow again. And then that D2 can be played with G1. And then on the B part, three, three, A, three, three, one. And then when we play the open E, 
you would drone an A low two. So this is forming a C chord. And then we land on that C, A low two, we'll have D one. I'm going a little too quick, maybe. I don't am I? Um, but I, I've, I, it's because I have sheet music for this on the site, but. There's actually an alternative way to do it. I'm not sure which is easier, but for that E note, instead of playing open E and A low two, you could play fourth finger A, which is E, and D3. And then you can add more fiddle flavor by throwing in little slides. And then here's something fun for this part. Um, you could also kind of drag the bow like. Try that. So that's kind of hard. You may want to just practice that on its own. All right. All right, so that's the whole tune with the chordal double stops. The last thing I'll say you could do is to just, if you want to play chords and accompany yourself, you could do that. So you could. So I'll just do a little bit of the A part with it, but your chords for this song will be G, G and D. D, which is G1 and open D. And C, which is open G and D1. Oh, Christmas tree. I think an easy rhythm is just trip, is just quarter notes, like one, two, three. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. So that would just be G, G to the D chord. And if you do want to do this step, just play the chords on their own. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Your boughs so green in summertime, they bring me So that the B part would be your bow so green on G chord, and then in summertime a C chord. Stay bravely green is D chord, so G one open D. Stay bravely green, and then back to G in winter time. I'll do it all again. Your bow so green in summertime. Stay bravely. like that line your bow's so green in summertime stay bravely green in wintertime they're brave they're being brave for us because the winter is cold and they're they're staying they're keeping our spirits up by staying green isn't that a lovely image i think i just want to end the lesson right there on that good feeling thinking about the christmas tree smelling it I'm not even a, I'm not a Christian, I'm Jewish, but I still love Christmas trees. I love how they smell. I love when they're decorated. I can like picture the smell. I just feel like I'm gonna start levitating because I'm imagining a Christmas tree so clearly right now. Anyway, so hopefully that lesson will be fun for you guys. You can, you know, maybe practice it and by the time Christmas gets here, you can play it for your friends and family. So long, thanks for watching Fiddlehead. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.